Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Euro 2020 predictions for the last 16. The last video I'm going to do before my birthday as well. So this one, you know, it's going to hold a special memory for me. So, you know, because it's the last time I'm going to be with Sage on YouTube. But anyway guys, let's get straight into this video. Guys, you know what to do, give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to predict is Wales versus Denmark. Denmark are very lucky to get through. But I'm happy they got through after what happened to Christian Eriksen um, in the first game. And, you know, who can... If you didn't see it, I'm glad you did it because it's horrible. Um, but yeah, lucky to get through and I'm happy for Denmark to be getting through as well. So this game I will be watching on the 26th of June. Actually, I'll be watching both of them and get down to the second one in just a minute. But anyway, this one between Wales and Denmark. Denmark, now across the top, have really struggled. Uh, I didn't actually watch their last game. I can't remember who was in their group as well. But anyway, I did not watch their game. I wish I did, in a matter of fact, but I didn't. Um, but it's going to be one of them things, unfortunately. Hey, if you miss it, you miss it. I'm going to predict a Wales win. Just about. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Wales win. Wales have not done a lot to... Uh, sorry, Denmark have not done a lot to impress me throughout this competition. Really been struggling. The next one is Italy versus Austria. Italy are the team of the tournament. They really are something else between... You know, their group, they dominated it. I can't remember who their last group game was against. But anyway, they did really dominate across the, uh, you know, the whole of, of the group stage in Euro 2020. Could they be, you know, the Euro 2020 winners? I think they'll be favourites after um, up to this stage, purely because of the way they've been playing. Going up against an OK Austria team overall, if you think about it. But I'm still going to stick up for an Italy win. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 Italy win. My next one is the Netherlands versus uh, Czech Republic. Czech Republic, um, obviously part of England's group, finished second. Uh, I did actually watch obviously all the England games because of where I'm from. Could they beat Holland? I really doubt it. So I'm going to predict a Holland win or a Netherlands win. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Belgium versus Portugal. Portugal have really done okay in this tournament. I don't think they're going to be good enough to win it. But, you know, who knows? You know, in the knockout stages, there's only one game. So, you know, it's unlike Champions League where you get two legs and you get to like over, you know, basically turn a deficit. One game and one game only. Going up against an OK Belgium side. Now, for me, this one is a tough one to call because Belgium have played OK in this tournament as well. But as I said, it's only one game and one game only. I'm not sure whether it goes into extra time or penalties. But I'm going to go with a 3-1 Portugal win. I just don't know. I think Portugal might just edge it over the 90 minutes. But yeah, you know, I ain't going to knock Belgium down. They've been playing brilliant. Next one is Croatia versus Spain. Now, Croatia was part of England's group, finished third, playing Spain. And Spain were very unlucky, uh, very lucky, not unlucky, lucky to still be in this competition. You know, they dominated uh, Slovakia, fair play to them. But they were so, so close from going out of this competition altogether. It's going to be an interesting game. Because I watched Croatia... Um, how many times did I watch? Twice. One against England and the other one against... I think it was uh, Czech Republic. Um... And they play OK football. Where the way in Spain are playing, would that big win against Slovakia give them a big confidence boost? I can't see it. I reckon Croatia might just edge this one. So I'm going to go probably with a bit of a shock. 
but I'm going to go with a 2 nil Croatia win. My next one is France versus Switzerland. Um, now, France have really had a good competition. I think they won three out of three. I'm not too sure on that, if I'm being honest. But, you know, they still had a brilliant competition with the likes of Germany, Portugal and Hungary in their group. Um, but, yeah, they really did, as I've already said, a good competition. Going up against a Switzerland side that basically, I think, will struggle against this good French side. I think French are very good in form. And I'll be very surprised if it's not an Italy, maybe France final uh, for Euro 2020. But as I've said, because of that, because I'm expected to be in a final, we're going to expect to win this game. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is England versus Germany. This game alone has so many twists and turns. You know, go to basically all the way back, uh, beat Germany 5-1. I can't quite remember. I think it's Dusseldorf um, England played that night. They were beating 5-1. Germany got their lucky escape with the 2010 World Cup goal against Frank Lampard on the halfway line where the referee didn't give it. That's another good thing with going on technology and VAR. But, you know, as I said, this game has so many twists and turns of circumstances and stuff like that. But I'm going to have to predict for my own country to win. But I'm going to go for a very dodgy and very hard 1 0 England win. My last one is Sweden versus Ukraine. Sweden have had an okay competition. Same with Ukraine, but I don't think I watched a lot of them. If I'm being honest, over the part, you know, over this tournament, I may have watched once or twice. Um, but I'm just going to have to make a random guess on this one, and I'm going to go for a two-one Ukraine win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.